Hey first graders, it's time for spelling. This week, we will be talking about the why that comes at the end of words. We all know when we see a why, it normally says what? Yeah, yeah. We all know that sound. But today, I want you to understand that when a why comes at the end of a word, it does not say yeah. Let's look at a couple rules that will help us understand the other sounds that Y can make. Our first rule says, when Y comes at the end of a short word, it usually makes the long I sound. I, I. When Y comes at the end of a short word, it usually makes the long I sound. And then, when Y comes at the end of a longer word, it usually makes the long E sound, E. When Y comes at the end of a longer word, it usually makes the long E sound. Those are the rules, but how do we use them? Let's look at some words that will help us get started. Here I have two lists of words. On this side, I have short words, and on this side, longer words. Remember the rules that we just talked about. When Y comes at the end of a short word, it usually says I, I. So what would this word be? Sky, sky. How about this one? Dry, dry. These are shorter words. The Y says I. How about the next word? Buy, buy. Next one, why, why. In that word, you have to remember that WH says w, w. The H does not make a sound. So this word is why. And our last short word, fl, I, fly, fly. So on this side, short words. Remember, when the letter Y comes at the end of a short word, it normally says I. Read them with me one more time. Sky, dry, by, why, fly. Very good. On this side of the paper, we have longer words. These are two syllable words. And when the Y comes at the end, what does it say? It does not say I, it says E, correct. Let's read these words together. Are you ready? The first one says candy, candy. The next one, jelly. Is it jelly or jelly? This is a longer word, so we say E, jelly. Our next word, the base word is trick trick but when we add a y at the end does it say trick i or tricky yes that says tricky our next word the base word is rain rain add a y this is a longer word so it says rainy rainy and then down here our base word is bump bump we add a y and it says bumpy Bumpy. I'm going to point at some words and I want you to read them. Try to read them faster than I do. Are you ready? Let's go. Jelly. Why? Sky. Candy. Rainy. Fly. Dry, tricky, bye. Okay, I think we're ready to get on to our spelling words. Now, none of our spelling words this week have the E sound. These are all short words that have the I sound. There are a couple words that might trick you, but we'll talk about them when we get there. Are you ready? Here are our words for this week. Our first spelling word says what? Buy, buy, spell it two times. Are you ready? Buy, B, 
Y by by B Y by Let's put the word by in a sentence. Teacher, may I sit by you? Or I could say my spelling book is by my chair. By Our next spelling word this week says what? My my Let's spell it two times. Ready? My M Y my my M Y my Can we put my in a sentence? Can you think of one? How about my mom is sitting next to me? How about my mom went to work? Or teacher, I did my homework. My my Our next word this week is the word cry. Cry. Let's spell it together two times. Ready? Cry. C R Y. Cry. Cry. C R Y. Cry. I hear a baby cry. I should not cry when I do my homework. All right. Next word is try. Try. Okay, let's spell it together two times. Are you ready? Try. T R Y. Try. Try. T R Y. Try. I try to do my best in everything I do. I will try to get my homework done today, teacher. Try. Our next word, also a short word, remember that rule. When y comes at the end of a short word, it usually says i. This word is what? This is what birds do and airplanes do. Yes, fly. Fly. Spell it two times. Fly. F L Y. Fly. Fly. F L Y. Fly. All right. Moving on. Our next word is a question word. You should know this word. We use it in class all the time. What is this word? Why. Why. Let's spell it together two times. Y W H Y Y Y W H Y Y Why are you at home? Why? Our next word is a word you might not know. You can read it. But what does it mean? First of all, let's read it. It says pry. Pry. To pry means to open something. We might use a bar or a stick to help us pry something open. Also, if someone does not want to answer a question, we might say we pry the answer out of them. We keep asking and keep asking until they tell us. Pry. Pry. Let's spell it together. Ready? Pry. P R Y. Pry. Pry. P R Y Pry. All right. Now remember the rule. When Y comes at the end of a short word, it usually says I. Uh-oh. This is a long word, right? But this word at the end is a word by itself. What does this say? Ply. Ply. We put a prefix on this word, multi, that means more than one, okay? So when it's a compound word, we use just this short word to let us know what the Y says, ply. So let's read this word together, multiply, multiply. This is something you will learn to do maybe next year. We do not multiply in first grade, we add and subtract but this is something you will do in math next year. Let's spell it together two times. Are you ready? Multiply. M-U-L-T-I-P-L-Y. 
multiply, multiply, M U L T I P L Y, multiply. Study that word hard this week. You don't want to get it wrong on your spelling test. Our next word is also a long word, and you say, Teacher, you told me when Y comes at the end of a long word, it says E. So you might think this says butterfly, right? But we know that's not right. Why? This is a compound word. Butter is a word. Fly is a word. We put them together to make a word. Butterfly. Now, when we decide what the Y says, we think about the little word by itself. So this would be fly. So our word is butterfly. Butterfly. Let's spell it together. Ready? Butterfly. B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y. If that word scares you, just spell one part at a time. You can do it. Don't forget there's a double T in butter. Ready? Butterfly. B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y. Butterfly. We read a story about a butterfly last week. And our last word today is the word nearby. Nearby. This is also a longer word, but it's made up of two short words, near and by. This is a compound word. All right, so it says nearby. I hope you are nearby. All right, let's read the word one more time and spell it. Ready? Nearby. Nearby. Let's spell it. N E A. R B Y nearby nearby N E A R B Y nearby Teacher I live nearby Aon Mall Okay I hope you remember all those words let's read them one more time and then you can go study on your own Ready nearby Butterfly multiply Pry, why, fly, try, cry, my, and bye. All right, be sure you study hard this week and you're ready for your test at the end of the week. Happy studying, first graders. Talk to you later.